Hi, I'm Jane, and I'm here to help answer some questions about the OMF South that will be coming to the South King County area. First question. What's an OMF? OMF stands for Operations and Maintenance Facility. Think of it as a place where the trains live when they're not being used. You know, like their home where they go for cleaning, storage, and maintenance to get ready for the next day. The OMF South is going to be able to hold 144 light rail vehicles and will create over 470 new jobs. All of the OMFs are actually part of a region-wide network and they are crucial to supporting our growing light rail system that will connect 16 cities and have 116 miles of track. Now let's talk about noise. To help us with that, we have our noise expert Shankar. Shankar, what's the noise situation going to be like at the OMF South? Jane, essentially a facility like the OM of South would have two types of noise sources. One of the noise sources is obviously from maintenance activities such as the car wash facility. The second noise source is from trains moving within the yard. The trains move very slowly within the yard at up to 7 miles per hour and because of that the noise is very low compared to what you would expect from trains moving in typical service. So, how loud will the noise be at the OMF South? It's complicated to give a single number for how loud it's going to be because noise depends on the distance of the source and the direction of the source. But what we can say confidently based on the measurements we've done so far and also the modeling is that the OMF South the noise generated there is going to be quieter than the existing noise in the area currently. Nice! Thanks so much, Shankar. You're welcome. See ya. So, one might wonder, how bright will the lights be at the OMF South at night? Well, it's a good thing I've got Gary with me today to help answer that. Thanks, Jane. That's a great question. The nighttime light pollution, and that's a technical term for it, will be mostly limited to lighting for safety and security. And that's similar to what you'll find at a parking garage or a parking lot. Our overhead lights will also be pointed directly at the facility or the yard, so it really shouldn't create any glare or impact the surrounding areas. Well, I've got another question. What is the OMF South going to look like? We understand people's concerns about the OMF South. It's a big facility with a lot of light rail trains. Um, while right now we don't know exactly what the OMF South will look like, I can tell you our architects and designers will create an OMF building that is functional as well as aesthetically pleasing. Because hey, we want it to look nice too. There will be landscaping with trees and short shrubs along the edge of the property. And my personal favorite, each of our OMF facilities in the region will also feature their own unique public art to give them some visual interest. Or as I like to say, some visual pizzazz. Love that pizzazz. <laughs> Thanks so much, Gary. I mentioned that the OMF South will employ over 470 people. Let's talk more about that. With me, I have Gwen from the project team. Gwen, tell me more about these jobs. The work that happens at an OMF is so important to make sure that riders have a safe, clean, and timely light rail train ride. All of the future jobs at OMF South will be new hires. We need train operators, people in vehicle maintenance, cleaning, electrical administrative positions, and so many more. Nice, this sounds like some high skilled work. How does someone even get started in this kind of career? With King County Metro, we're working to grow apprenticeship programs to provide employment opportunities for folks from Kent and Federal Way and other cities in the South Sound especially for women and people of color. If you don't have experience yet, we'll train you and provide mentoring from people already doing the work. Wow, that is so cool. This is something we're very excited about. At Sound Transit, equity looks like working to bring the benefits of light rail to all of the beautiful and diverse communities that we serve. I agree, it is so important. Thank you so much, Gwen, for your time. No problem. And thank you for taking the time to learn more about the OMF South. This is your community and we know it's important to you. If you have more questions, you can visit the Sound Transit OMF South project page where you can get more information and sign up for updates. Until next time, bye.